So there's no doubt that Microsoft has a foothold on productivity when you're talking about their office slew of products like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. Businesses and individuals alike use these. You're talking about anything from small businesses to large corporations to individuals like yourself use their products on a day-to-day -day basis. They have millions of customers that use these products. And it turns out they're actually doing something pretty shady and a little sneaky to those customers. We're gonna talk about it in this video. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot your devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss or release some cool, helpful content. So what exactly are we talking about? So it looks like if you have Microsoft Office Pro Plus, which is basically just a suite or a version of their Office 365 software that they currently have licensed out to both individuals and businesses. If you have the Pro Plus, Microsoft will be launching an update next month that's going to install a Chrome extension that works with the Chrome browser. And what this extension does is it by default replaces your search engine from whatever it is, Google, Yahoo, I don't know who still uses Yahoo. Whatever your current search engine is, Microsoft is going to replace that and put the default as being their search engine. And they're basically going to make this the standard going forward for anyone with Pro Plus. So even if you currently don't have that service, but you install it at a later date, that's going to be the norm is going to go through is going to look at your Chrome browser, see what your current search engine is and replace it with the Bing search engine. And that's pretty crazy and a little shady on Microsoft's part, in my opinion. Now, when I was reading about this and researching it, the only two reasons I can come up with that they're going to actually do this actually are two reasons that only really benefit Microsoft themselves because no one really uses the Bing search engine. And if I'm wrong, go ahead and comment down below that you're a Bing user and then everybody's going to make fun of you because you're a Bing user and everybody else or mostly everybody else uses Google. So the first reason I could think about is to really inflate your search numbers. Search engines usually go by how many people actually use those search engines to find information and then they can use those numbers to gain sponsors or get money from advertisements. I think Microsoft by switching over all these customers all at once, you're talking about millions of customers that are going to be switched over from a default search engine of Google to a default search engine of Bing. That's a huge influx of searches going into Bing and Microsoft is going to have those numbers to show advertisers that people are now using the Bing search engine versus the Google search engine. And even if you have the majority of users that switch back to Google, the ones that actually know this has taken place and know exactly how to change your default search engine in their browser, Microsoft is still banking that that number of influx of searches that's going to be initiated isn't going to go down too far because a lot of people either won't change over or change change over at a later time and they'll still have that influx of search numbers to show advertisers. And if you really think about it, the equation is extremely simple. More searches equals bigger revenue and more exposure from Microsoft Bing going forward. And the second thing that I can come up with is just the sheer exposure of Bing itself. A lot of people currently are stuck on the search engine that they're currently using. People use Google. They're familiar with Google. There's no real reason for them to change from the search engine that they visit frequently unless they're secretly changed into a different search engine. So if you really think about it, if there are a million customers that are switched over to Bing and 90% of those customers switch back, Microsoft still has a brand new 10% of new customers using that Bing search engine. So again, it really just inflates their numbers and gives them the ability to get exposure to a search engine that otherwise wouldn't have gotten exposure because customers just don't want to use it or is not thinking about using it at all. So this is really a sneaky tactic for them to gain exposure to their Bing search engine because people just don't want to use it as much as they want to use some of the other search engines that are available on the market. And I think Microsoft is just really counting on people either Either just not switching back to their default search engine that they were using before, not realizing that the switchover has occurred, not caring that the switchover has occurred, or just being too lazy to switch back to the original search engine that they were using before. And by doing that, it's just really going to inflate their numbers and give them the ability to claim victory 
even though it's kind of like a cheating victory. So now some people are gonna ask what really is the big deal about this? It's just a search engine. In my opinion, software should definitely not change your personal settings in any device that you have. Microsoft is actually allowed to do this and it goes through without any problems. Think of the ramifications that could come later on down the line. Any company can basically change any setting in any device that you have. If you have a computer, Microsoft can decide later on that we want your default application that plays movies to only be the Microsoft movie application. Or if you're on Android, we want the default Android search engine to be the Samsung default Android search engine. And every time Samsung pushes an update, it's going to switch it back, forcing customers to switch it back themselves. Inadvertently, some people just won't, and then you'll end up just using their search engine. Apple can do the same thing. It can go on and on and on. If these companies are actually allowed to do this, it's kind of like an invasion of privacy. These devices are yours. Your personal settings are your personal settings, and you set them up the way you want. There should be no software update or install that should ever change those settings. And I think it's a really slippery slope that Microsoft is playing if they're allowed to actually go through and allow an update to change a user's personal setting. Inevitably, what's the outcome of all this? The update is going to go through. It's just going to happen. If you have Office Pro Plus, then you want to be on the lookout for next month when that update goes through. Go ahead and switch it back to your default search engine. I would definitely, definitely say just keep an eye on your searches to make sure you're using the search engine that you want. Microsoft is playing a really shady game here, and I think that this can have lasting ramifications throughout the tech industry, throughout the personal device and personal settings industry and also just personal information itself. Privacy is a big deal and I think this kind of infringes on our privacy and our ability to make our devices our own just a little bit. So Microsoft, it's pretty shady, man. Anyway, guys, please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you think it's not really a big deal, if it's not a problem, go ahead and share that in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Also, let me know what search engine you use by default. Is it Google? Like I think everybody else does. Share that in the comment section down below. Until then guys, you can check out a new video we did on why you should probably wait for the new 2020 iPad to be released. You can check that out there. And this is something YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, you know exactly what to do. Smash, annihilate, destroy that like button. It really does help the channel and services the YouTube algorithm. And also while you're at it, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and tap that subscribe button with that bell for notification. So you don't miss when release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time guys, peace.